season where watching our weight is a national obsession, I'm about to introduce you to a man who never looks at a scale with dread. In fact, give Christopher Steele a penny for his thoughts, and he'll immediately be in for a pound. I saw my first scale at the Columbus train station in 1971 in the fall, and I bought my first scale in 1972. Here we are. They could turn pennies into gold. They made a lot of people rich. And on a scale of 1 to 10, this is an 11. And in this room, there's about 100. Christopher Steele's collection of vintage penny scales is indeed a heavyweight. The collection spans 100 years of industrial design. The oldest scale, 1891, and the newest is 1991. This is a Peerless Aristocrat Deluxe, one of my top favorite scales. You, it didn't give you anything but your weight, but it was sensitive enough to register your heartbeat. You could see it pulse. Long vanished architecture of sidewalks and stores, coin operated scales were once as common as, well, pennies. They educated and entertained, all for one red cent. Very entertaining. People didn't have TV, radio. You would dial in, ask a question. What will my wife be like? Drop in the penny, and up here you have the answer. A graceful, stubborn redhead. <laughs> you may remember Mr. Peanut from his various homes on High Street, or that scale from 1891 that stood outside the train station in Columbus for over 70 years. They're made of, uh, of the finest metals, uh, porcelain enamel, on the outside, like your bathtubs used to be made. These are five of my favorite Art Deco scales from the 20s and 30s. This scale was on loan to the Smithsonian for 15 years. This is the uh, Mills New Modern Scale made of porcelain enamel. It'll last another 100 years. Consider when scales first came along in the late 1800s. Very few Americans had a way to know what they weighed. Maybe not such a bad thing. To get your weight back then, you either had to go to the doctor's office or a freight scale on a dock somewhere. Hollywood loved them. You weigh 163 pounds. You're a very stupid fellow and not likely to succeed. You hop on the machine, and the act of getting on supplies the energy for this machine. to stamp and eject a ticket of a Hollywood movie star. These mirrored and metallic marbles proved to be money magnets. Over a billion pennies annually were dumped into coin-operated weighing machines. They made more money per square foot in most stores than any other item. Penny scales gave Americans their first inspiration to consider a correction in the midsection. There's some pretty funny signs. Oh, oh uh, that this tutu solid flesh would melt. And Christopher's collection gives us a reason to celebrate the American way. It speaks to a time when mechanical devices were all the rage. Of all the things to collect, huh, guys? How did he start this yeah. collection? He, what, he, what inspired he, that, that? That scale that so many will remember sitting outside the train station in Columbus, the 1891 one, when he was uh, young, early 70s, uh, looked at it one day and wanted to buy it, was fascinated by it, and he says, a little voice in his ear says, buy as many as you can. 